Welcome to Discover the Villages with Jana Raver. This week we have our MLS stats, House of the Week, What Do I Get for My Money, Restaurant Review, and we have a little bit of news. So let's get right on to the news. We have, you've heard of Cheesecake Factory. Well, we are going to have a Peach Cobbler Factory. We don't know yet where it's going to be or when it's going to open, but it looks yummy. And until then, you can tame your sweet tooth with this. This is just opened. And if you have too many sweets and need a rest, you can don't go next door to the Tempur-Pedic store and lie down. <laughs> and now it's time for what do I get for my money? Now let's take a quick look at the MLS stats for the week of September 25th through October the 2nd. This week we had 43 sold. Last week 31. Wow. Pending 
32. Last week, 39. New listings, 39. Last week we had 37. Price reduction, 26 this week, and... 43. Last week was 43. We lost the Ryder Cup, I know. We'll win it in two years. <laughs> Active homes on the we on the market last week was 312 and this week it is 313. We've had a very active week and things are looking up. We are just outside the villages at Napolino's Italian Cuisine. It's right across from um, Pepper Tree Apartments on 301. And I can't tell you how authentic this looks. With all the painted walls and all, it looks uh, like you're in Italy. There's a um, entertainer tonight that's got a very good voice and I'm excited to look at the menu. Our bread has just arrived and it looks wonderful. This is just enough. Look at that dipping oil. This dipping oil is extremely good. <laughs> you can tell though. Olive oil is very good quality. This is wonderful. I could make my whole meal off this. <laughs> Cameraman is going to order fettuccine with vodka sauce, and I am getting Napolino's pizza. Ladies first. So, cameraman chose soup instead of a salad, and he chose tomato. I'm gonna have a taste of it. Mmm, that is very good. You're gonna love it. So far, the bread was very good. The cameraman's soup was very good. I can't wait to try my pizza. I'm not a huge, huge pizza fan, but when I get authentic pizza, I love it. <laughs> Our food just arrived. Look at this pizza. Does that not look awesome? It's got pepperoni, sausage, meatballs, cheese, mushrooms, green peppers and onions. It's going to be fabulous, but it's very hot. Cameraman's vodka sauce. I don't know that I've ever had vodka sauce, but here we go. You can tell I'm not a, not a special. <laughs> Come on. Oh, for Pete's sakes. <laughs> mm. I like that. Yes. Very good. Thank you. It's very good. It's a creamy tomato. I like it. All right. Here goes the pizza. All of this yummy, yummy meat. That sausage on there is, I can't even describe it. It is wonderful. Wow. 
cameraman is really enjoying his dinner. He said it is creamy and cheesy and savory all together. I can't do any more. <laughs> the pizza was delicious, but I absolutely could not eat any more. The one thing I wish I had told them to make it a little crispier because it was a little um, not as crisp in the middle. Therefore, I'm going to give it a nine and a half. And cameraman, he loved it, I do believe. What are you going to give it, cameraman? I know I told you this is a little bit out of the villages, but it's not that far. It's definitely worth the drive. The staff are very, very friendly and hardworking. The entertainment's good, and it's just a great place for an evening. Well worth the trip. And now it's time for House of the Week, and this one is a little more affordable than the one we showed you last week at 1.1 million. We're at 989 Grayford Lane in the village of Hemingway, and I'm gonna show you this adorable colony villa, two bedroom, two bath, beautiful painted walkway and driveway. You've got a screen here that closes up across the door so you can while you're working in the garage it makes it real nice and airy and you can see out but you can't see in let's go take a look look how cute this is I love this area over here and all the greenery this is adorable Well, I found where I'd be having my coffee. Before I go in, I just wanted to show you this area, the screened-in lanai. You've got a fan and plenty of room. This furniture is very nice and comfy. And while we're talking about furniture, this villa comes turnkey. That means everything in it, plus the golf cart. Oh, it's even cuter in here. I love this. What a nice way to welcome your guests, since the pineapple does mean welcome. This has luxury vinyl plank throughout. There's no carpet whatsoever. This is very spacious. You've got wood cornices over the slider and window. So let's go in the kitchen. You've got room for, you could have easily four bar stools here. And Eat in little table here. I love this floor. This goes with everything. You have an extra pantry. It looks like they've um, added over here. And the kitchen has uh, a solar tube, which is great because it lets in a lot of light. I'll show you the difference when I turn the other lights off. It's still very light in here. Got a nice pantry closet here and extra storage on the door. This leads to the garage where uh, the laundry is and the Yamaha golf cart that comes with. This garage is plenty of room for um, one car and your golf cart. It has the laundry sink over here and washer and dryer this screen is really nice. You can see out, but you can't see in. And the outside furniture and odds and ends are stored in here at the moment, making it look crowded, but there's plenty of room for a full-size car, SUV, and the golf cart. Got a very nice size living room here. These are big couches and look very comfy. This is not cramped at all. Let's go see how the bedrooms are. This is the guest bath here 
which has um, tub shower combination and decorated in fish, which I think is quite cute. There's a solar light in the guest bath and there's no light on and look how bright it is. Good size linen closet here. This is the guest room. This is a great size room. We've got plenty of room in between. I like the way they have this decorated. It definitely looks beachy. Very cute. Good size closet. And we'll go right to the master. What a great size main bedroom. It's got plenty of room for all kinds of furniture. The closet always amazes me how big it is. And the main bath is right through here where you've got a stand-up shower, a vanity, and commode. You know, this bedroom has plenty of furniture in it and it, it's not cramped at all. This is a very good size. A lot of our YouTube family enjoy guessing the price of House of the Week. I'm going to tell you the price, so get, get your guesses in now and then let me know in the comments how you did. So summing up this adorable colony patio villa, two bedroom, two bath in the village of Hemingway, 1156 square feet. Built in 08. It does have a small bond. It is priced at $315. It comes turnkey with the golf cart. I think that is a great price. So if you are interested in seeing it, either for yourself or for investment, give me a call, text, or email me. I'll be more than happy to show it to you. Cameraman really wanted to do the golf this week, but I put my foot down. I mean, he is not ready. He thinks he is, but he's not. So next week we'll have the golf for you. Now back to business. Now, as I say every time this week, if you haven't subscribed already, please do so and hit that like button. It really, really helps our channel. And we will see you next time. Thank you very much for watching. Until then, Bye.